Write that down. Take your pen or pencil, everybody. Put 0.75. Yeah, on the packet. And then, um, Elijah, once you write that down, tell me mass. You see mass? Yeah, mass. 2.5 is revolutions. So revolution means the pen goes around once. That's a revolution, right? That's one revolution. That's two revolutions. This kind of reminds me of um, those things at those uh, basketball games, you know, when you like want to cheer for your basketball, when you uh, spin the, the rags around. Anyway, anytime something reminds you of something in your life, Try to connect that to physics so that you guys can, uh, you know, so it means more. Because right now, I feel like for the four of you, based on your math scores, on your test scores, um, math is not really your favorite thing. Is that about right? Math is not one of your favorite things. It's kind of like something you have to do, like work. And so the more you make a connection with this physics problem and you, the more interesting it gets. Because we still have two months left. And I don't want any more Fs, okay? I know your Cs can become Bs. And you're now coming to class on time. So you're just going to keep getting better and better at business, okay? And you have so much potential. You're, like, always doing the test even though, like, you know, it's very difficult. And your effort gets you points. So keep keep trying, guys. And, uh, and you'll get a good grade and you'll learn physics. So we've got a radius of 0.75. We've got a, a mass um, that's not 2.5, Elijah. Try again. What's the, what's the other uh, value in there? It's at the beginning. 200. 200 Gs. And then, Caleb, what's the time? It's 2.5 revolutions in a second. But we don't know time. But we can use revolutions to find time. So um, if we all look at the first step, it gives us a triangle. Acceleration equals velocity over radius. But we don't have velocity yet. We have to find velocity. So we use the second step. Velocity is x over t. But we don't have t. So what we're going to do is we're going to find t here. The third step just tells us x for a rectangle is x, but, but up here for a circle is 2 pi r. So these two triangles are the same thing, but they are they look different because of the, the fact that one is for a circle and one is for a triangle. So not, not a new equation. It's just x and 2 pi r are different for a circle and a triangle. We're trying to solve for a circular motion. All right. So, Caleb, the fourth step tells us how to find time. How many seconds has how many revolutions? What is 2.5 revolutions. So, everyone take your pen or pencil and draw 2.5 at the bottom. And then, how many seconds is there a 2.5 revolution? It says a, a second means one second. So everyone put one over 2.5. And a few minutes, grab a calculator. And do one divided by 2.5 to give us time. Zero point four. So everyone write T equals zero point four. That's something we can all do, right, Devin? So write it down. Keep up. Keep up. Read some streaks. Make the class more interesting and more meaningful by keeping it putting in effort. What? You want to do an extra pump? Uh, Teacher, if you want to do this, extra what? Practice pump? Okay. Let's get an extra practice pump. Your student number four. All right, so 
What do we do with time? You're welcome. We're going to plug it in. We're going to plug it in where the fifth, it says fifth step. T equals 1 over 2.5. Because Caleb says 2.5 is the number of evolutions, and the number of seconds is 1. Bottom left, this is a 0.4, because Jimenez did the math for us. And now it's your turn, Devin. After you write that down, we're going to solve for V equals 2 pi and then R. What did you say R was, Devin? Which is what number? 0.75. Use the restroom. Go for it. And then our T is what? 0.4. Grab a calculator and do it for us. 2 times pi, it's on the left side, times 0.75 equals 4.7. All right. And we still have to divide it by 0.4. So Elijah, grab a calculator and do 4.71. This is on your uh, on your oh, Chromebook. It's on, your it's on your computer. Divided by 0.4. What do you get? 4.71 divided by 0.4. Try, try one more time. 0.4. Did you guys get that too? I got 11 something. See if the mode matters. Oh, but then there's an exponent on the right. You see that? So save the whole thing. To the to the one. So write that down. One point and we round to one eighteen. Uh, we, we can round it one point one eight. It's 1.77 in the calculator. And then we times it by 10 to the 1. Now, in our next physics problem, the numbers are going to be really big. They're going to be like in the millions and the billions. So we don't want to write 0, 0, 0, 0 a bunch of times. Your calculator right now is stuck in an exponent mode called scientific notation. So, um, Caleb, does yours say times 10 to the 1 in it? So some calculators are in the old mode. Now do, do um, 4.71 divided by 0.4. And then we should get this number. So this is velocity. We don't want just velocity. We want acceleration. How fast is that ball being pulled down? How fast is this pen being pulled towards the center? So right now, if this, if this string cuts, it's going to go straight. It's either going to go straight up, it's going to go straight down, straight left, or straight right. It's not going to go towards my finger if I cut this pen. But the string is pulling it towards the middle so it doesn't get away. So the question here is asking, how fast is the ball getting pulled back to the middle so it doesn't fly away? It's not hitting the middle, it's just getting pulled down to the middle. That's uh, the sixth step. We have to take our A equals V squared over R and plug it in. So, Caleb, what is our V? All right, so write that down. AC equals parentheses 1.18 and then E1. What does E1 stand for? Stands for times ten to the one. That's a nine. For si the sixth step, yeah. this is one point one nine or one point one eight. Yeah, if if it was easier to draw on Google Drawings, it would be better. But you can see your screen or zoom in, and then divide by r. Uh, Caleb, what's r?
Good. 475. Jimenez, you're up. After you're done writing, you're going to go 1.18. Now, you, we need to know how to do E in the calculator. To do that, you go 1.18, and then hit second, X minus 1, and then 1. And then click divide, 0.75. Tell me what you get. You got 1.5 something? Okay, so yours also, the mode needs to be changed too. So you can kind of there you go. Alright, read it again. Mm -hmm. Same. Good. 1.573. We're not going to round because it's 1.573. And then don't forget the E1 because the calculator on the very right says 10 to the 1 power. And times 10 is E. Yeah, it's so much easier to write. And then uh, your calculator will uh, also accept E if you put it in P. So this is how fast the ball is moving back towards this, the middle. This, the ball was at the end of this pen. This pen is coming back towards the middle. The pen wants to go like that, right? The pen wants to go all the way out the door. But the string pulls it back. And that's how fast the, the pull is. The pull is 1.57 E1. And that's what you'll do on your study guide. You get the exact same problem. You just need to do the same steps on that study guide. And then on Tuesday, you get the same test question. You just do the same uh, steps on your test. Okay, let's go to the next one. I think this is a lot easier if I print it for you guys, right? Because uh, sometimes it takes so long to write it down.